Hi Gorge! Um, it's currently Valentine's Day so I said you know what I'm gonna sit down I have nothing else to be doing so I'll sit down and I'll film this kind of look for everybody and um, I got my inspiration from Gord George on Instagram he is just phenomenal at what he does like he is he's up there like unreal and um, so go check him out and you'll know exactly which picture I took inspiration from and um, but I hope you all like this tutorial and um, please like and subscribe and again if there's anything that you want to see just leave a comment down below thank you so I already done one eye off camera um, and I already done this brow just because my brow is kind of in bits um, but I'm going to prime the eye using the P. Louise base so this is the original shade so it's in the shade Rumour um, like I don't really know what I think of this base like it, it, it's nice yeah but like it's not my go to like any hooser I'm just going to pop that on the eye and I'm going to go and carve out the brow So I'm just going to take like a fluffy kind of blending brush and I'm just patting that all over the lid. So the next shade that I'm going in with is black. I'm starting with black first. So this is the Urban Decay Black Ew Shadow. Um, and I'm just using this on an Inglot 48 SS brush. Mine's a bit scruffy but I hope. And I'm going to place that on the inner and the outer corner and I'm going to leave the middle free. Like try leave as much as a free as you can. So I'm just going to start on the outer corner. And I'm not going like right to the inner corner just because I'm going to be blending that out so you want to leave a tiny bit of room. So I'm going to take a small little brush, just a black canvas E10 and I'm just going in with this dark brown out of the carnival palette it's called rowdy and i'm literally going right over the edge of that and you're literally like tiggling it on tiggle tickle tickle i don't know tiggle that's what i say tiggle and you're just going right around the edges of it again you're leaving the base free or the middle free It looks very messy now, but trust the process and all that. So I'm just going to wipe off my brush now and with no extra product, I'm just going to slightly buff out them edges. It's just going to make it easier when you go in with your next colour. So the next colour I'm going in with is this, this shadow here from the Carnival palette as well. It's called Basic. It's Basic, bitch. Um, and I'm going to take that on as a Weaver 227 brush. I actually don't really use this brush, but like, I just thought I'd use it, I suppose. Um, and I'm just going around the edges of Sorry. Literally right around the edge, because you want to try to keep a little bit free at the top. And again, just going to wipe off that brush. Go back around the edges. Oh, I forgot to wing this one out. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I had a brain, I'd be dangerous. So, I was wondering why it wasn't really coming together. Anyways, here we are winging it out. So this does take like a really long time so if you feel like you're doing it 10 minutes and it's not coming together that is normal okay and i'm going to go back in with the black and i'm going to slightly wing that out as well so what you're going to do now is you're going to take your peel away base and you're going to take it on a 12S brush, any kind of thin little brush and you're just going to bring that over the centre. Sorry. Right. 
and just take your shadows and kind of blend it slightly back in. So I'm going to take the pigment Gatsby from Peaches and Cream and I'm going to use it's a lovely gold. Oh, my favourite. Can you see it? Can you see it? Um, I'm going to take down the same 12S brush as well and I'm just placing that and I'm just placing that over where I put the Pilouise base. Like look, it's like heaven. Take the peel away his base again and I'm popping that underneath. And you're gonna throw it in the inner corner. Oh, sorry, you're gonna throw it in the inner corner then. And bring it out. What I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna take the same 12 S, just make sure you clean it off. Um, and I'm gonna take white gel liner, this is the one from Ingla. I just took a sample from book because I am paying for this shoe. Um, and I'm just popping that on the inner corner. And then you're just going to take a small little brush just to kind of blend it out. It is 53 Body Sparkles from Ingla. Again, a sample because I only paid for this shoe. Um, and I'm just going to pop it right where I popped the white gel liner. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the purple from the Carnival palette, it's called Wasted, and I'm just going over that. So I just popped black gel liner in my waterline and I'm just going to go in with the exact same brush on that black shadow and I'm just going to kind of blend it in. And I'm going to go back in then with the shade Rowdy and same brush and I'm blending that out. And then back in with the shade basic, same brush. Pull that back up then and pop on your favourite lashes. I'm gonna use the tatty lashes in my, 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 my job. So I'm going in with my foundation now. So the foundation I'm using is the Maybelline Superstay and I mixed that with a small bit of MAC Strobe Cream. Just for a bit more glow. And I'm just popping that all over. And I'm blending out. I actually got a new, oh my god, gel liner all over my hands. So I got a new foundation brush just simply because the penny doesn't sell the other one anymore. Um, and I needed a new one because mine was a bit scruffy. Um, but this one's also from Pennies. It's a bit bigger. It's a bit like the multitask brush that P. Louise uses. But I'm really liking it, I must say, I must say. Excuse my skin, I don't know what is going on with it. But you know, I give up. So happy Valentine's and Valentine's to everybody. By the time I have this uploaded, Valentine's will be a long over. Bush. I also decided the other day, like, not, it's not like set in stone, but. I gave myself two years and in two years time I hope to be working for myself. Um, I love what I do but I kind of want to be doing YouTube I suppose full time. Not even YouTube full time like in two years but I just want to be working for myself. I'm so fed up working for people. <laughs> no I don't mean that. No I'm just joking. I just I want to be my own boss, like I want my own hours and all that jazz. And I just feel like if I don't give myself a time fra frame, like I won't push myself further. So I feel like by giving myself a two year time frame, like in two years, if I'm not a millionaire, you know what, who cares? But it's just something that I want to give myself, just like for a bit of a push, you know? kind of keep me on the straight now because I currently I work two jobs at the minute Um, I'm working in Ingla as probably most people know um, and then I work in suede salon doing the lashes which I love but um, yeah just kind of like I don't want to do makeup on people for the rest of my life don't get me wrong Um, I would rather do YouTube um, and maybe come out with my own products and stuff like I want to be like 
Kaylee Cashel or Holly Boone, that kind of thing. But like I don't like I love doing makeovers on people, don't get me wrong, I do, I love experimenting, but I don't want to do that for the rest of my life. People are pigs. <laughs> no. <laughs> Honestly, I'm just joking, people aren't pigs. You're all lovely. You're all lovely girls and boys. This. So I'm just popping that under the eyes. So I just concealed and highlighted the whole of my face because you've seen me do it like a million times. Um, so I'm just going to go in now with the Revolution foundation stick, I'm assuming, in the shade F13. And I'm just going to cream contour the face. And I'm just going in with the Real Techniques contour brush. The same one I use for under my eyes, it's just like a different brush. No, like it's the same brush, I just have two of them. <laughs> This brow is like flaky. Get it, girl. So I'm just going to go in and set everywhere that I cream contoured with the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark Tan. I'm not going to like proper warm up just because I used a lot more cream product than I usually would. So I'm literally just like going over to set. Hello. I feel like I like it. I hope I don't look orange on camera. Because I ain't in person. So I'm just going to go in with my favourite. The Beauty. Like, how can you just not love all the highlighter? So I'm just going to go in with me Penny's lip liner. I don't know what's going on with my skin on my chin. What the hell? Anyways. With MAC Blankety on top. And then I'm going in with the MAC Fix Plus Gold Spray and I'm just going to give my face a little spritz. Well that wasn't a little spritz but like, you know what I mean. And that is the finished look. I hope you all enjoy. I hope you all had a wonderful Valentine's Day. Um, and I hope you all felt so much love and I'll be back shortly with more videos.